Hi everyone, this is Paper One, and um, today we are doing the the third flip through of this journal. And this journal is considered to be full because I did remove some pages over here in the back. It was just getting too thick, as you can see. It is really, really big. It kind of reminded me of the biggest journal that I had, which is this one. You probably remember this one. Yeah, I mean, in comparison, this has 700 pages, while this one only has 400. So, and it still has gotten so fucking big. You know, it became very uncomfortable to write in it, especially on this bigger page. I always had to put something here in order to support my wrist and I don't know. <laughs> it just really went on my nerve. The same reason why I never wanted to buy one of these again, but well, lately I have been thinking, I have seen some journals on uh, Amazon that were new and um, I'm always kind of considering trying this again, even though I know it will not be comfortable. But what can we do right journal people love journals and uh, big journals they always have their own charm and um you know they have a feeling to them you think to yourself oh if i'm able to to fill this one up it will be awesome you know <laughs> even if it's a big struggle <laughs> yeah so let's go to the flip through that's the last page you saw This, by the way, is um, a napkin. Yeah, I found some cool napkins uh, at uh, TK Maxx, which is like, is TJ Maxx, but the German version is called TK Maxx. Yeah. <laughs> Here I wrote with the pencil because, I don't know, I kind of feel like, um, one day I want to fill a whole journal only with pencil, like super old school. Oh, I don't know. It is kind of like a lot harder on the wrist than uh, using a fountain pen. But if I only write four pages a day, it's not big of a deal, right? The problem is on some days I have more to say. And on some days I write 10, 12, 14 pages and I would kill my wrist if I just used uh, a pencil, so I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Maybe it's just a dream. Yeah, uh, I went to visit my medium, you know, my psychic medium who always gives me a lot of the information that I need in order to progress on my spiritual awakening and she gifted me this set and oh my god, this smells so good so good oh my gosh like i would never buy this for myself because it's way too expensive but since it was a gift i have been enjoying it <laughs> yeah which is funny like i should actually pay her for her service but she always gifts me stuff so <laughs> it's really funny <clears throat> <laughs> A picture I took. It's kind of awkward when you try to grow out your bangs and then they are like this long but still too short to make like a cute hairstyle with them. I'm at that stage. <laughs> I hope they grow to a point where they are not going on my nerves anymore. Here 
I used uh, those paper cutouts that I got from Crafty Journal and uh, I really love them but they're really hard to glue down like you know because the surface is so slim in order to get the glue on and not smear it like, everywhere but it's really cute <laughs> cats lots of cats this was a mistake I shouldn't have done this like this is really thick cardboard and um, it made my whole journal really weird you know I, I couldn't keep the pages open anymore and uh, it was so fucking annoying yeah I hopefully learned my lesson at least when you have like a stiff binding you know like hardcover binding it's not good oh yeah this is the beginning of my birthday pages I turned 38 years old and um, I bought some stuff from the birthday money that my brother gave to me this was birthday mail from Megan really amazing card beautiful and I got this card from my parents and I thought it was really cute because it had those you know you could change the the year with the wheels so really cute this is a card from Jess and my friend Ray gifted me a bunch of um, stickers and washi tapes in the mail and really cute yeah I had some cupcakes and spooky beans made this for me and my pen pal Dana <laughs> sent me this weird digital card with chickens for whatever reason I don't know she's so random <laughs> well it was fun so I my, my birthday went over smoothly you know because I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to celebrate I just wanted to have a, a quiet day you know oh yeah then I bought myself this ink and um, it is this one it is called Heliantos and um, it's really beautiful. I once saw a video by a woman online on YouTube and she had a yellow ink in her journal and it looked so pretty on her journals. You know, although you know I'm a goth, I'm not really the yellow type of girl, but when I saw those pages, I was like thinking I want to try this one day. But at the time when I was looking for yellow inks, I couldn't find a yellow ink that I liked. The, the ones that I saw were like too neon or too orange. And um, just randomly, like a week ago, I saw this particular tone on Amazon and I couldn't resist. I bought it and it's beautiful. And I was testing um, how it would match with decoration because yellow obviously is a very colorful color. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was thinking the blue and gold goes okay with it. Vintage and green, yeah, okay. It's also not too bad. Black is okay. I wanted to see what happens when I smudge the the ink pad ink on the page and it turned like this dark yellow. So if I made the whole page dark, then it would all look like this, which is not bad. And then I put some Fall Season decoration in just to see how the colors would look together. Also nice, I, I guess, for like a, an autumn journal, right? Yeah. Some people were telling me... I, I was asking on Instagram what you think about um, yellow ink. And someone told me that, um, that their yellow ink faded over a span of 30 years, I think. And um, I was thinking to myself, does it matter or not? You know, like, imagine in the next 30 years, I will fill another 300 journals. And if some pages of those 300 journals would fade, would it really matter if I made sure not to put any super important secrets in there, right? That is the question. So I was wondering if I have actually an old journal for myself that I could compare to in terms of ink. And I found this one was one of my first journals. 
And although this is not completely the same type of yellow, by the way, those are old numbers, they do not exist. Um, it is kind of similar and nothing faded. I mean, there's some brownish in here or maybe some orange, but um, this is from the year 2000, right? And that was 23 years ago, it didn't fade at all. So there's now the question. Um, paper quality and what type of ink, right? This is, this is like professional fountain pen ink. Now is the question that I didn't ask this other woman, um, what type of pen she used that could fade over time? You know, like, is it like a fine liner or is it a, a gel pen? You know, like, was it fountain pen ink? Whatever. If you happen to watch, then we can, uh, you know, talk about this matter a little bit more in the comment section, because I would like to know your experiences, like all of you, um, what do you have with those type of colors? I want to know. <laughs> so yeah, I will definitely use this color in my fall season journal every now and then in between. <clears throat> and then yesterday I just wrote about writing. Like uh, I was writing one of my stories and I came to 280 pages or so and um, <clears throat> I, then I was wondering how I would progress and I would uh, I wrote down 14 pages about uh, different versions I could write or alternate realities uh, continuations of you know making the children grow up and be the main character and whatever you know and if it comes <clears throat> if it comes to my inspiration and my ideas for my story writing I can just go on and on and on and on yeah <laughs> and those were today's pages and that's it there's some more on my mind that I may write today but um, those much those those many are left I have never finished the book the little friend by Donna Tart I could just not go, get into it after 200 pages I never touched it again so yeah and I got Netflix again and I just started to binge watch stuff. And this is how my life passed without reading any further books, you know. Although I was really big in like, oh my god, I need your recommendations, you know, like I'm back into the reading. <laughs> and now, <laughs> right now in this moment, I'm not reading at all. You know, maybe I pick up a book later or maybe not. We don't know. But yeah, anyway. This was my journal flip. Now I'm going to show you my next journal. <clears throat> That's the composition notebook. Like Melly Rose is always doing this compoween thing, right? Where uh, people use composition notebooks for, um, well, Halloween or October. But most of the time, this is a little bit too big for just one month, depending on how much you write. So I, I planted out to use it for two months. So September and October. Yeah. So basically the first half is for September and the other one for October. The only problem I have with pre-planning the space is, well, as I just explained, I sometimes have phases where I want to write a lot about my story writing. And it could happen that the that it fills more quickly than you know than I planned so in that case I would just maybe add some pages to the September portion you know just just write on something else and just stick it in to an envelope or something yeah I don't know it's hard for me to pre-plan when it comes to space and um, page numbers and everything but yeah <laughs> this is the composition notebook. I think that was all I have to say. Oh no, I wanted to show you something really quick. I wanted to show you this washi tape set that I got for my birthday. It is really pretty. I have seen this on Timu and Amazon before and I was contemplating to buy it because in my story, in my witchy story, it 
takes place in Asia and the crane is the the symbol of the oracle queen in my witchy world you know blah 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 and I really wanted those washi tapes for a long time look how pretty they are they're like a work of art <laughs> the only problem I have with them is that they are not the same type of washi tape that we know they are like um how can I say it maybe I can show you the roll comes off like this and it has a backing you know so you basically cut it first into strips and then you peel off the backing but if you let loose of this roll and it just rolls somewhere you see then you have this problem and then you have to really like get it back into shape and make sure it's not uh, you know <laughs> rolling off on its own this is like the only problem I have with those tapes but design wise and sticking beautiful beautiful yeah so I wanted to show them off just for because I was proud to receive them they were a gift from my stepfather for my birthday beautiful all right <laughs> and now I think I have shown you everything that I wanted to show you today yeah thank you all for watching and have a nice day bye